Hello, Susanna here with the Are They All Yours blog at StephenAndersonFamily.com. I got my little sidekick Peter here. Mm -hmm. Eva is asleep right now. All the other kids are doing schoolwork or they are at work. And I thought I would make a quick video explaining why we moved and giving just a short tour of a small part of the house. So why did we move? Our old house was simply too small for us. We purchased the house in 2005. And at that time, we only had three kids. They were four, two, and John had just turned one year old. And the house had three bedrooms and two bathrooms. So it was perfect for us then. We started the church in our house and it worked wonderfully. Over the years, as our family has grown, we had expanded that house. But in the end, now that our big boys are adults, and have all their own needs and their hobbies it was simply too small so back in july um, the kids and i had gone to the red hot preaching conference at past the Menezes church in sacramento and while we were there we stayed in an airbnb and when i came back home from that with the kids i realized that i really missed having a dining room that we had there to where we could eat together as a family i missed all the space where i could put napping kids in separate bedrooms so they wouldn't wake each other up and that was my tipping point where I said, you know what, honey, we do need to buy something bigger. I did not realize at that time that the housing market is at its absolute most insane right now. And what I mean by that is that there are far more people wanting to buy a house than there are houses for sale. The inventory is just completely upside down. I did not realize that when we set out to buy a house. However, the agent that helped us find our old house in 2005 it was such a miracle of God, the way that worked out and the way the house has worked for our family so wonderfully for so many years that I was like, I need to go with the same realtor again this time around. With his help and just full-time house hunting every day, within eight days, we were able to get under contract for this house that we are living in. So. Um, we moved. It is not very far from our old house, only about four miles. My husband can still ride his bike to the church office for work. And we are actually living in the exact area where I have been doing my shopping for years. So I'm very familiar with this area. I will give you a short tour just of the ground floor of this house. This house actually has three levels. There's an upstairs, a ground floor and a basement. Altogether it has five bedrooms, four bathrooms, and it also has a very large game room downstairs that I will also include at the end of this video. So let's get started. All right, so from the front door, as we walk in, we have the living room. Back there is the dining room. We'll go there in a minute. The family room on the right here, which we have converted into a schoolroom for the older kids. And then going around this side, we have an additional bathroom back here as well. As we go into the kitchen here, you can see that the ground floor is basically one large rectangle that has a loop going around. From the kitchen window, I can see the yard and the beautiful pool. This is the dining room. We can pull the tables apart and put another bench at it to seat a lot more people. The rest of the time, the bench is kept out here for purses and for little kids to put their shoes on. Little kids like this turkey. What are you doing? So while I'm in the kitchen, I can keep an eye on the big kids doing their schoolwork. And I can also keep an eye on the little kids doing their schoolwork over here and help them with whatever they have need. When we come around here, we go back to the living room. A little coffee and tea station set up here and this is also where we keep the books for the younger students and we are back at the front door now here are the stairs to the playroom where the little kids play while the big kids do schoolwork or the big kids can go and read after they're done with their work Peter's already down here playing Hey, Petey. It has a pull-out sofa here in front of the windows and then has a game table, all the books and board games and school supplies. And over here on this side is more the craft area and the laundry room, the kids' costumes, 
And then down this hallway, there is another room as well as a bathroom. And then back up the stairs. Peter and I hope that you have enjoyed this short tour of our house. Peter, say bye. 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 <laughs>